Hi, this is Jenny with Simply Beautiful Crafts on behalf of Expert Village, and today we're going to make a Victorian Valentine wreath. To make a Victorian wreath, basically you need ribbon that's very elegant, maybe very ruffly, and embellishments that have a Victorian look to them. For this wreath, I chose these colors. I found these wonderful buttons, and I also have some ribbons and bows. This was actually a Christmas ribbon, but it doesn't have to be for Christmas. It worked very well for this Victorian Valentine. If you have a wired ribbon especially, you just want to fold it, put your ribbon through from the back side, coming over a joint, bringing it all the way through. And when your ribbon is much wider than your opening, if you want to leave these little puffs, kind of hold it with your thumb, and then put it back through again. Don't be afraid of the ribbon. Remember, you're smarter and stronger than the ribbon. Good lesson I learned many years ago. Put it through, bring it back, going all the way around until you've completely covered your wreath. You have all the little puffs that you want everywhere that you want them. And before you secure it in the back, go ahead and straighten out your puffs so that you don't have one that maybe like this would be too big and you'd want to pull it on through. Once you have it just the way you want it, you're going to secure your ribbon on the back by putting a bead of glue on a seam, hot glue. You may have to fold or crease your ribbon so that it fits without showing from the front. Secure it for a few seconds and do it to the other side. Once you have your ribbon all the way through, it's time to embellish it. On this one, I chose to put these two together and put one of them behind and one of them in front, giving it a little bit of a 3D effect. But you want to lay your embellishments around, play with them, get the balance that you want. Once you have it just exactly like you want it, take your hot glue gun and you can either glue your embellishment or you can glue the pretzel, put it on there. You need to know exactly how you want to put it because it does dry, does cool very quickly. Then when you're finished, you can take some baby's breath or some little paper roses and put them around. The last thing you want to do is to make a bow. I made a single loop bow for this, and it's lovely with the wire because you can fold it and it'll be exactly the way you want it to be. And then to hang it, I just took a little piece of gold braid and made a loop for the back secured it with hot glue, and then it's ready to hang as soon as the glue is cool. And there you have a very delightful Victorian Valentine wreath.